Hi everyone and welcome to this new snack size episode. In this episode I'm going to show you quickly how to import your own fonts and use a custom font for your user interfaces. So first of all you need a font. You can find these all over the internet. Um, I personally use dafont.com so I've gone ahead and gone to dafont.com and I've downloaded this cool Vedica font. Once you hit your download you get a zip file. You want to unzip that ready to import it into Unreal. So let's get this zip file up here and you can see I've got four different font files as part of my zip file. So I'm going to start off by dragging just one in. So I'm going to drag in my cool Vedica RG and when I first drag in a font it's going to ask me if I would like to create a new font asset. This is an asset that is used by the Slate engine to generate the font on the screen. So you want to click yes for the first one. And you can see now I've got two files, the font face, which is the actual file that we actually imported, and the font asset, this is what the game engine uses to generate the text on the screen. So with that one tied to this uh, font asset, we now can import the other ones. So I'm going to drag all three of those in. But this time when it asks me would I like to create a new font asset, I'm going to click no to all of it. Because they're all going to be using this one. So to make them use this same font asset, we're going to double click and open up the font asset. Now the font asset is quite basic. You've got a previewer down the bottom here and you've got your font family set up here. Now most of the time you're mostly going to be just using default font family. Um, but you could also do backup ones. This is if the um, the uh, particular font family that you've, you've chosen doesn't have particular characters or anything like that. It will use this one instead. Um, but most of the time you're using default font family. So you can see our default one is here called Vedega RG. I'll click on new add font and I can rename it here and I'll also drop down to choose my fonts. So I can choose compressed and I can name it compressed. And we'll do this for all of the other ones. So condensed. Now most of the time this will be things like bold, italics, you know, so things like that. Um, condensed, and finally we got crammed. There we go. So that's basically it. That's all you really need. Um, as I fallback is if you've got a missing character. So some fonts that you download may not have things like the at symbol in as part of their font. In that case, you have a fallback one which uses that font. Uh, to fill in the gaps okay so that's where you typically have this stuff here uh, on the right hand side you've got some details uh, font cache type mostly you'll be using runtime pretty much for everything as the engine that uses uh, slate which is all the umg stuff uses runtime the alternative is offline um, but that's kind of the old-fashioned way of doing it runtime is where you're at we can click save and we can close that so now we've got this font asset done, we can now make a new UI widget. Drag in some text. And we can now change its font family on the right hand side to call Vedica RG font. And there you go, it's now changed that. And you can see here underneath where I changed font family, I've got typeface. This is where you'll find those different font uh, types. So compressed, condensed, crammed default okay and there we have it and that's how you import your own fonts and use them inside unreal engine 4. if you like this video and you want to see more head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan a donation of just one dollar will give you access to loads of videos before anyone else as well as my other benefits and exclusives thank you to all of my patrons for their support this wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you once again if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a like and a comment behind whilst you're here as well. Thank you all everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.